Okay, uh, hey everybody, Dan here, stockmarketmentor.com, and uh, I want to take you through a walk uh, through the Fitzpatrick modified Dow theory. And what I'm looking for, you know, the typical Dow theory is uh, the transports and the industrials. If one makes a new high, then it's confirmed when the other makes a new high. If the other doesn't make a new high, uh, then it's not confirmed and the market suspect. Okay. Um, market's a little more complicated now than it was when Chuck Dow uh, was calling the shots here. Smart guy, but he's dead. So uh, I just want to look at things that I check out that go beyond the SPY. We can even look at it on the weekly chart. Okay, not good. Not good. Not good. All of these so far are moving lower. Not good. Okay, how about mid caps, small caps? Okay, how about, and this is where the things that I look at too, the banking index, uh, nope. How about the semiconductors, the CNBC, I just kind of had it on in the background today. They're all over the fact that the semis are breaking down. That's kind of a big deal too. Um, and how about the retailers, also down. And you can say, well, hey, it looks like a bottom to me. Okay, sure. Well, this did too. And I'm not saying that this is not a low. Uh, I'm not saying that this isn't a bottom here, uh, you know, the one that we're looking at here. All, all I'm saying is that, you know, this sure looked like a low as well. And it was fine all the way up until a new low was made. So this is a weekly chart. What I'm talking about is kind of macro stuff. I don't have to be, you know, steeped in deep economics and macro, this and that. And the other thing, you know, I'll take a Big Mac over the, all the macro stuff. You just look and see what the market is doing. And by the way, the price action in these indexes, the price action in the market is dictated by the conglomerate of people that are a heck of a lot smarter and uh, better educated and, and better capitalized than you and me. And so I don't have to know all that stuff as long as I know what they're doing. And I know what they're doing when I just look at charts, okay? So uh, one thing that I wanted to show you though was Twinkies, okay? I hate Twinkies, mostly because I used to love them uh, when I was a kid, but I could afford them then. I'm not talking money, I'm talking waistline. Uh, but I'm looking at this now, and um, I see a stock, it's kind of a, kind of a loose, uh, kind of a choppy cup and handle, uh, pretty, you know, pretty steep down here. But it is a cup and handle nonetheless. And then this little pullback here, and this is what I'm looking for, but let's check out the volume. See, during this pullback phase, you see that most of the days were below average volume. And the ones that were above were typically the green ones. Here's a couple of up days here. Here's a, a high red day that did lead um, to more downside. But the thing that's remarkable to me, meaning worth remarking on, is this, that overall the trend in volume is down as the stock has declined a little bit. Okay, this is what we like to see. Um, if a stock's pulling back, you like it to be shallow. You don't want it to be steep. So you like it to be shallow and you like the pullback to be on lighter volume because what that reveals is that there's a lack or an absence of real concerted institutional selling. Um, there might be, well, certainly there's some profit taking, but it's not widespread. It's just we can say, ah, you know what, I'm done with this. Um, you know, I think I'll... I don't know, I'll go to Starbucks and get the coffee of the day. They're done with the Twinkies. Um, so right now I'm looking at this as a good stock to be, we're in it on the active trade list, but I'm looking at this as a good stock to at least be watching. I don't see an impending like boom, big breakout here. What I'm seeing is an ongoing base building process where the 50 day moving average is favorable, you know, it's right up along here, and we're seeing this kind of move in the stock. And so this 
is what I want to hopefully see happen. We get some more chopping around in here, and then right around November 8th, when earnings are reported, the stock blasts off because, as it turns out, um, everybody, now that they're out of their caves and they've thrown their masks away, everybody's eating Twinkies. Okay, so that's all I got for you. Uh, members, training session today, about an hour long. Um, you can watch the replay.